Over rotating can create rounding in your form, but that's not the only problem that we have. Over rotating creates an inconsistent throw. Sometimes you'll round, other times you'll throw pretty clean. Sometimes you'll hit your chest, other times you'll throw pretty clean. Sometimes you'll early release or grip lock. Sometimes you'll throw pretty clean. Do you see where I'm going here with this? Over rotating happens when we forcibly extend our arm out from us and turn our back towards the target. Hey everybody, what is up? It's Antonio. Welcome to another episode here on Gladiator Disc Golf. I am so excited to have you with me here today. I am really excited about this topic and cannot wait to talk to you about it. So over rotating is an issue that I've been dealing with and I've been reaching out to some of my coaches and getting some feedback from them on this. And I am so appreciative of all the tips that they have given me. And one of the tips that has been shared with me, I am going to share with you. So how can we fix it? Well, really there's two ways to fix over rotation in our disc golf form. The first thing is to think about walking away from the disc. You know, we talk, uh, we, uh, this channel and several other channels have talked about this idea of walking away from the disc where we don't actively extend the disc out from us on our backhand throw. Okay, so that's the first thing that we have to do. We have to walk away from it to avoid over rotation. The second thing that we have to do is to push our non-throwing shoulder backwards, okay? The big reason with this is that if we twist with our core and with our chest and shoulders, we're going to over-rotate, which is obviously the problem that we're trying to correct here. And that's because our core can rotate a lot further than our back shoulder can move in isolation. When you push your back shoulder, obviously your, your throwing shoulder is gonna come forward, but it's not going to extend all the way around. And this is a position that obviously your shoulder's not all of a sudden gonna to, going to start to go further backwards than it's ever gone before. So it's a repeatable, consistent position that we put our throwing form in. Now that we know what over rotation is and how we can fix it. How do we go from over rotating to not over rotating? Well, we can't just snap out of it necessarily. We have to retrain our bodies. I have three very simple drills that scale from each other. We start really simple and they slowly get more complicated and get us closer to our peak form. So what we wanna do is start with drill number one isolation rotation and this is something that you want to do in a standstill or you can even do while sitting in a chair and you practice this without a disc you don't need it all you're going to do is the same thing i was just showing you before just practice pushing with that back shoulder and you just want to get familiar with this movement this drill is just to start building that muscle memory that we're going to need in future drills the second drill is banded rotation. Now, I wouldn't recommend being seated for this one. You definitely want to be in your standstill position. But basically what it is, it's the same thing as isolation rotation, but instead of holding nothing, you're now holding onto a band, whether it's a pro pull or some elastic band. You want something that's going to create tension to simulate the lag that we want to have in our backhand throw. And then the third and final drill is really the final step before going into your X step, and I call it the network rotation. What we're going to do is we're going to do standstill throws with a disc, actually throwing the disc into the net. These three drills you can really all do in sequential order, back to back to back within a single training session. You get warmed up with the isolation rotation. Then you take it a notch up with the banded rotation, and then you finish with the network rotation before going into your round or a full practice session where you're actually throwing out in a field or working on a specific hole on a course. Once you get comfortable with these three stages, then you'll be able to more successfully add it to your X step. So make sure you stay focused on your journey and encourage others along the way, whether they're ahead of you or behind you, always be encouraging. And make sure you subscribe to this channel for more content in the future. And until next time, everybody, have a great round.